Hi, we're in this question then, we're given that f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 12. And for the first part, we're asked to show then that the equation f of x equals 0 can be written as x equals the square root of all of 4 times 3 minus x all over 3 plus x, where x cannot equal minus 3. So to do something like this, let's just lead off, we can say that when f of x equals 0, we've got that this equation here has to equal 0. It follows then that x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Now to rearrange this so we get this, I notice that up here in the numerator, if you were to expand this, we've got 4 threes of 12 minus 4x. That's giving me a clue. 12 minus 4x seems to suggest that we should move these two terms to the other side and factorize. So let's just do that. If we were to subtract 4x and add 12 to both sides, we're going to therefore get x cubed plus 3x squared equals 12 minus 4x. I can also see that 3 plus x is in here. If I pull out, say, x squared as a common factor, then I'm going to get x plus 3, or I could turn it round, okay? So let's do that as well. Let's factorize both sides. By pulling out x squared here, we're going to have x plus 3. And pulling out a 4 as a common factor across this one, we're going to have 3 minus x. So now I can divide both sides by x plus 3, and so therefore we've got x squared equals 4 multiplied by 3 minus x, and that's all divided by x plus 3. Let's just put that in brackets. And then if I've got x squared equals this, then I can square root both sides. So that's going to leave me with, therefore, x equals the square root then of all of 4 multiplied by 3 minus x. And when it comes to the denominator, instead of writing x plus 3, I'm going to turn it round as 3 plus x, so that it looks just like that. 3 plus x, and then we'll complete that. And obviously, x cannot equal minus 3, because if it did, we'd have 3 minus 3 in the denominator here. It would equals 0, and anything divided by 0 is undefined. OK, so I've been able to show that if the equation f of x equals 0, then it can be written like this.